I am editorial director of 3D Robotics. So our CEO is Chris Anderson, and he's like this super visionary. He's got two New York Times bestsellers. Uh, he was the editor-in-chief of Wired Magazine for 12 years. And he made uh, his first drone on a kitchen table with his kids, rather like parts of a Lego mind machine. And he realized that, you know, if a dad can make military grade technology in 2007 on his kitchen table, then something weird about the world has like completely changed, right? And he wanted to know what that was. And so he went down the rabbit hole and he started this site called DIY Drones. And uh, this huge, he found this huge community of drone hobbyists and enthusiasts who had all discovered this same technology. And then he, uh, this guy, uh, Jordi Munoz, was bored and he made his own autopilot out of parts that he took out of a Wii, a Nintendo Wii. And he put this on Chris's site. This college dropout and this visionary New York Times bestseller got together and they made this company. And that's the roots. And so ever since then, we've been pivoting and getting bigger and bigger and growing outside the community. And like, yeah, now it's just taken off and we're a huge consumer drone company. Uh, right now, uh, this is one model, it's just solo. And it has complete access to the GoPro. So it's the only drone where you can start and stop recording from the GoPro just on the ground. You can adjust uh, frame per second, you can adjust the uh, you know, field of view, white balance, whatever, right? Full access, and it also charges your GoPro. We started the Drone Code Foundation with uh, Linux Foundation and Qualcomm and a bunch of other drone companies, right? And it's an open source drone code home. You can write apps for it, you can add any functionality you want to, your own uh, expertise to the platform. We did the hard part, right? You don't have to reinvent the wheel. Now you can stand on our shoulders and make drones, you know, like the next flying computers. You're gonna see so many good uses for it. I mean, agriculture, search and rescue, right? Law enforcement, uh, yeah, the environmental protection, conservation, there's so many altruistic uses, not to mention the art and the creative stuff. Yeah, I mean, it's, all right, and then you've got weapon of war. But then you've got this whole spectrum of human existence that these things are going to also contribute to. So yeah, I mean, come on.